This is part two of Gibson's new soft case comparison video. If you're looking for an up-close look at this item, or want to know how it also compares to a regular gig bag, make sure you check out the first episode. This is the comparison you're probably most curious about. Let's talk about the pros to the soft case. First off, these are cheaper than a hard shell case. At $149 new, they compare to $200 for a proper hard shell case. Is it worth springing the extra 50 bucks to get a hard shell case? Well, let's do some more comparisons. This is going to be easier to lug around than a hard shell case. It has a nice, large, comfortable padded handle to it. You can put it on your back because it has a strap. It's softer, it just feels better. You just have more options than your single handle here. So you can either walk around like this to your gig or have to do this because you're scared that your handle's gonna fall off. Which brings us to our next point. The zippers on this are going to be a little bit more reliable in the fact that they're not going to accidentally come undone on you. I don't know about you guys, but occasionally when I'm hauling guitars to guitar shows and whatnot, sometimes a latch will come undone because I bump it up against something. Now, what are the odds that all four, five, sometimes six latches comes undone at the same time? Eh, very low, but it's still a point worth mentioning. Back to the handle thing, sometimes modern day Gibson USA cases, especially some of the 70s cases, they just don't feel as secure at the handle. Like they'll crack at the end and then fall off. I don't have that worry with this. It feels really secure on this new soft case. I feel like the padded handle for this one feels a little bit better as well. I mean, these also have some padding, but depending on what Gibson style case you have, some have more padding than others. Same as the gig bag comparison, you can fit a lot more in this compartment than you can in this one. You can still fit a nice strap in here, but it just doesn't have quite as much storage space. The next great thing about this is you really don't have to care about it. You can punch it, you can stomp on it and just smash it and use it as a punching bag. Nothing's gonna harm this thing. It's built pretty much like a punching bag. Whereas if I jump on this hard shell case and put all my pressure on it, it's gonna crack and break. Now obviously I don't wanna do that with a guitar in either of these, but I'm just talking for like storage purposes and like when you're just trying to throw it out of the way when you're at a gig. This thing you gotta be a little bit more protective of. Next, the new soft case is a lot lighter to lug around. I measured mine at about six pounds. Whereas this case, I measured seven and a half, but case weight varies example to example. There's some cases from Gibson I've got, they weigh almost 12 pounds just because of the variance in the wood that makes them up. So it might not seem like a lot in this case when it's only a pound and a half, but there are definitely some clunky cases out there that will make it more worthwhile. This is kind of a far-fetched scenario that wouldn't necessarily happen all the time, but I could see it potentially happening, is if you have this laying on your floor open, both the soft case and a regular case, and your drunken drummer's just woohoo, and he accidentally kicks one over, if you have your neck locker in place, as this tips over, it will fall into a padded top side of the case, and no real damage will occur. Whereas on a hard shell case, it's gonna fall, it's gonna hit a not as padded area, and the case hinges might damage your guitar, and it could be a real nightmare. So I guess you could take that into consideration. Another pro is that this gig bag can fit multiple types of guitars in it. Gibson advertises this as a Gibson Les Paul, as well as the Gibson SG shape. They say it can also fit similar guitars, so this is kind of a one size fits all, depending on what you wanna to bring to your gig. Just have one of these for your main guitar and your backup guitar and you're good to go. It'll fit most shapes. Whereas the hard shell case, it'll only fit one guitar that you purchase it for. Unless you only have all Les Pauls or all SGs, then it's not really an issue. But now let's talk about the cons of this gig bag. 
First off, we got to get this out of the way. It's not as protective as a hard shell case. You will never be able to beat the protection of a hard shell case. Even better yet, an Asdell made case. So here you can see I can compress the headstock area fairly easily. That's not so good. But what's nice about this is it does have that neck block in it. So it does offer better protection than the gig bag as we saw. But besides that one firm area right there, all the other edges, yeah, they're fairly flimsy. I mean, they're firm, but they're not firm enough that I think it would really protect it against a jolting impact. In my opinion, this is the best soft case that has ever been made, and it's the Taylor version, because their sides are nice and firm, and I love that about this case. I was kind of hoping that this new Gibson one would be like this, but not quite as good. So, big ups to Taylor. I love your gig bag case combination thing here. For comparison's sake here, same pressure. Yeah, sure, you can flex your case a little bit but I can't smash this case at all. So it's pretty darn sturdy. So in turn, that makes you less at ease traveling with this as compared to the hard shell case. Next, this has a neck block, not a neck rest. The neck rests are these two little humps right here. It kind of keeps the neck in place as well as keeps it higher up than the neck block would. So that's definitely a better feature. Here's something you might not think about. If you're walking around with this thing, talking to your buddies, do you see what I'm seeing here? This is an opportunity for a thief to sneak up and unzip your pouch and take whatever is in it. And you might not even hear them doing it. So having your zippered pouch on the outside versus having it on the inside of your case where it can't easily be gotten into, that's something to consider. Next, zippers have a shorter lifespan than a latch. Now, if you use this properly, the teeth, they should line up and be good as you're unzipping and zipping it for years to come. However, if you have a dog or a cat and they chew one little tooth off of the zipper, your whole gig bag is now worthless. I don't know what kind of animal you have that could <laughs> bite the latch off of your case or what you might ding it into, but even if one of your latches breaks, you usually at least have two other ones that will help secure your lid down. So if you have pets, that's a major consideration. Our next con here is for SGs, I don't think this is as good because the heels are more notorious for being weak on an SG. And as we talked about earlier with the padding, I could see one good Ding to the back of the heel and you're gonna crack your neck off like that. So maybe not as good for an SG. Next, the bags are not form fitting. So that means there's a lot of sliding room. But once again, it can fit multiple shapes of guitar. So that's kind of a trade off. With the neck Velcro down, the side to side movement is very minimal, but you still have that up and down. If you were to go all willy nilly like this and accidentally tunk, right into a wall, you might cause some damage. Next, it's not quite as fast to remove a guitar from this bag. First, you got the zipper to deal with, which it's roughly the same time as unlatching a case. But I found that this neck locker down thing here, it's kind of a pain because you undo it and then it falls back on itself and latches again. You kind of have to have two hands going on to get it out of the case. So that's a mild annoyance, and the more I used this case, the easier it became. And lastly, you don't have as many finish options for these. You can have brown exterior with red interior. Whereas with a Gibson case, they have black exterior, they have brown exterior, there's even white exterior ones. Don't forget the government green. You can have a whole plethora of interior finish options. So putting your wine red guitar in your red interior case, yeah, probably doesn't do it as much for you as like a white or a blue. So that's pretty much it for this whole comparison video of the new soft case to the old styled gig bags, as well as a hard shell case. Clearly it's way better than the old gig bags. But can you say this is better than a hard shell case? I think there's some trade-offs here. This is a really great product. 
I think if they furthermore made the edges also a little bit more firm, I could find myself liking these better than a hard shell case. But for me at this time, I would not sell all my hard shells to buy a bunch of these. But I think Gibson is onto something great. Because if this just replaces all gig bags, that would be beautiful. So is it worth $149? <laughs> I don't think so. I would just rather buy an aftermarket hard shell case or like a used Gibson hard shell case. But even on the used market, would I pay $80 for one of these? I would feel comfortable at like 50 bucks. I think this is a solid 50 bucks used type deal. And if you're buying a new guitar and this is the case it's coming with, you've got nothing to complain about. It's not a cheap gig bag. So I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review of this new bag since apparently nobody wanted to talk about it. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode. Take care. Hey, can't forget the flying demo.